But Maddie D here of In The Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and your life coach here, helping you with your childhood wounds and issues you got with your parents. This video, I'll make it short. I'm gonna do a live video on this, uh, to kind of expanding on a topic about you know Christmas with your family, Christmas with bad family, family that annoys the shit out of you. Where every year, it's a stressful, stressful time, and you're like, shit, I gotta be with my parents. This sucks balls. I hate this, or your aunts, uncles, whatever, because this, this time of the year that that we all that celebrate as a time of peace, love, joy, happiness. You know, like everyone, everyone's in a better mood. Yet the irony is stress increases like 10 times than it normally does throughout the whole year. But it's like the last three months of the year was uh, October, November, yeah, October, November, October, November, December. It's like stress goes because people realize, shit, man. It's not, it's not so much buying the presents for people. It's it's not so much of, you know, the the, the season's changing, the weather getting colder and the days getting shorter shorter it's the issue of crap i gotta see my family mom or dad cousins aunts uncles that you cannot stand and all family gets together and it causes a lot of stress fights happen people act out whatever it is and you're like i don't want to do this again because it happens once and you're like great then you never deal with the issues the emotional shit that's there and then you deal with it the year the year again and the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that. And I'm pretty sure you're tired of dealing with some shitty stuff once a year. And here's the thing, why do people do this? Well, think about it. You only do it one time once a year. The time it comes up, you have all this shit. You're like, ah, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But then we think, well, I'll make it through this, and then I won't see him for a whole nother year. And in that period between the pain that you have, it's just a period of not having to deal with it. So it makes it simple and it's easier to be like, oh, I don't want to deal with it then. Whereas, is the solution, and here's how you can better deal with this. If you learn to just deal with the emotional stress, the anger, the frustration that comes up now, now, like today, or when you see them, you know, instead of, instead of you know, avoiding it, which is what a lot of people do with their emotions that, that they don't want to deal with, avoiding it, you won't feel the same, that you, the same way that you do next year. You won't see most reactions. You won't have any of that shit. Like, it's gone. It's it, it's gone. Like, you won't deal with it. That's what happens. Though. The best time to deal with your emotional shit is in the moment, which is tough and hard to remember because you're like, you know, you're in you're, you're in the emotional storm. Or sit down. Which is the best way to do it. Second best way, I say, it should be the first best way is to actually take time to sit down in a quiet space and put yourself in that space where you have those feelings that come up because they're still there emotions are energy the energy emotion of stuff that needs to be properly expressed and and processed and experienced that's all it is to feel to feel through it because if it if you don't it stays there in your system in your body we can have it among you even if it's not active even if you don't feel it it's still there how you know it's still there if you're not around family Let's say it's like, you know, July, you know, whatever, summertime, summertime in the United States, it's great. If you're not around family, you don't feel anything, but all you have to do is think about being around them at Christmas time, and then you immediately go from happy to, fuck, not this shit, and then you feel the, the stress, the anger, the frustration, it's still there, and because it's still there, you may not be consciously aware of it, it's still in your subconscious, still in your body, we can have it on you in ways that you're not aware of. So now, the first thing, and I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do YouTube live on this later today. The first thing is, and I can coach you through this, and there's a book I'm gonna recommend. You have to sit there and just simply breathe and feel the emotion, feel what it is in your body, breathe on it, and just feel the anger, whatever it is. And it may take any time, it may take about 20 minutes, it could take you a whole hour, depending on how much you have. Once you do that, you'll feel the release, there won't be any reaction of like, oh my God, my life's better. Like, you'll feel better. Two, you got to start creating boundaries with your family. If you're in a position, and if you're not, make a plan to get in, into a position where you don't have to deal with them, where you don't have to see them. Like, this year, real talk, my sister wants to spend Christmas by herself. And I was like, okay. I mean, her and I are cool. Her, um, my, my father and I and, and her, we're all good. But she got stuck on my mother. I'm not, apparently there's some drama that I don't know about, but she doesn't want to deal with, deal with her. 
fine. That's her choice. But she's decided, she set a boundary, said, this year, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to spend Christmas Day by myself. Welcome to join me. I just want to chill. She, she can do that. You can do the same thing. If you are so sick and tired of dealing with bullshit family members who have their heads so far up their ass, her in this fucked delusional world that you're like, oh my god, they're not on crack, whatever drug they're on, I must, I must be on, I, I, like, if, if they're on some drug that you think that, that, that makes you go, I need to be on the drug because their world's, like, amazing, holy shit, like, <laughs> it's crazy, that they're so far gone and you don't do with it, you can say, no, this year, I don't want to be around you guys, you can say it nicely, say it nicely, the nicest way you can. Because if you say it in a mean way, you're gonna cause a, you're gonna add fuel to the fire, and it's gonna, and you're gonna be like, ah, fuck you. I'm gonna deal with them. Simple. Just be like, make alternate plans, make plans with friends or something. You know? Hey, I mean, if it comes down to it, if it feels better, remember this. If it feels better, and how you feels better, it feels relief, it feels lighter, to actually this year just spend Christmas by yourself, or with a friend or two. Then fuck, do it. It's your life. This is your emotional health. This is much. This is this is your emotional well-being, your happiness, your health at stake here. Because if you keep going to this thing, the only person hurting is you. You're not hurting them. You're hurting yourself. It's not them. It's you. I'm telling you this right now. So take time. Do do what you got to do. So I'm in this video. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, this woke up not that long ago, but I'm gonna go run and get my mind straight. So. I'm ending this video now. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Are right. you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's stupid? Great advice. Let me know. Share it. Like this video and as usual, subscribe to my channel and look in the link in the link in the, the in the uh, description below. You can learn how you can get a free coaching session with me. And number two, um, post a link to a book from my coach who I learned this from about. It's called Emotions Drive Behavior. It's a great book it's on Amazon. You get it for like 99 cents Kindle. It, it, it's a great book. I'm telling you, you need to read it. It's a good read. Love ya. Get in the black. Deuces.